Welcome to We Who Survived. This is episode 20 of the Frost Access Tunnel Start. And we are going to go ahead and get started here. We are making our way to College Square with our two hired soldiers. We're just about there. I really want to do some radiation stuff. Trouble is the Rataway is going to make us thirsty, which is going to use all of our water and then make us immunocompromised, which means that we'll probably get all kinds of diseases from the ghouls. Not that we guaranteed won't anyway, but... Yeah, it's harsh out here. So, we're going to walk up here and probably get mobbed by ghouls. And that'll probably be the make or break for what's going to happen as to whether we live or die. So, we'll start with that. I don't know where all the ghouls are. There should definitely be ghouls. Crap. Found them. Okay, we don't have to fight them all. We just have to get into the metro, guys. God, these idiots. Attack it in the head. Okay, well that didn't go as bad as I thought it would, but it didn't go well. I don't think. We might have to use that right away. Oh my god, what is she attacking out there? Stop! Just come in the tunnels! Oh my god, it's... Stay gone. These motherfuckers can't just leave well enough alone. Alright, let's get in the frickin' station now, people. We're lucky we made it this far. Oh, and then it's me causing the trouble. Naturally. I just wanted to go peep what's in here. I should have already taken one of those rad axes, but I was going to wait. Same as it always was. Some wood. Alright. We're going to save here. Right before we go in. Um, but... We're looking rather ghouly. See what happens if we take a rat away and a radix. Well, if that's it, that's not too bad. Okay, that actually hydrated us. Okay, that could have went a lot worse. Um, I know I just saved, but we'll save again. So we don't have to redo all that in case of dying. And then we'll save right in there. I just saved too much, but it's because if something stupid happens, like a crash or I die randomly, since we're not playing permadeath, it's a lot easier than having to redo the same stupid stuff over and over. That's actually going to be the most interesting part about a permadeath run. Because, like, if I have an hour and a half to play, I have an hour and a half to play and get, like, two episodes. I can't sit there for five hours until I get something that works and then start recording. So we'll see if permadeath is even possible. I'm not sure. Alright people, we got a lot of uh a lot of killing to do. Dang, that's really nice even for the weight. I'll trade you. Oh, 
the cool thing about recording is even if I don't remember it's there, I can always go back and <laughs> look at where I left stuff. So that's honestly pretty nice. Okay, we're gonna drag this boy over here and do the same thing with him. You people just don't start fighting yet. That's what I'm worried about with you. You people are nuts. Sort of wasting the Radex right now, which I actually don't like, but... Alright, cool. That's all done. Oh, shoot. You guys got these big crazy weapons, and you switch to uh, meleeing with no headshots for ghouls. Oh, crap. There's a frickin'... Whatchamacallit down there. A glowing one. should definitely use a doctor's bag. And then I wanted to see... Yeah, I got a good amount of explosives going on. The trouble is I think these tards will run into them. Which can be a huge problem. Good. Good, good, good. Nice. Alright. Aw, oh, I don't want to waste it on this thing though. This is definitely going to run up waste my frag mine. Okay, unless I do that. I'd like to try and get a headshot on it, but it's big chilling, it looks like. Okay. It's getting serious. What just happened? You're about to find out. Whoa, 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 get out of there. Oh my god. Dude, there is no way. So I can't do anything with these fools. Well, I want to actually see if they're any good. Uh, I really want to reload because like half the novelty of this is bringing these two with me and seeing how they perform. Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to reload. That was stupid. I can't believe this. You can't do anything with these people. They're so stupid. At least they got the mine. But... Try that whole thing over again. Stop! I'm gonna. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. Get back here. Huh? What are you doing? Let's do this. Frickin'. These people make me so. Oh my god, it's over. I quit. Three days later. It's over. For now. These frickin' these people need actual scripting of some sort, like... <laughs> Can I tell them to stay? Will they stay? Hey there. What? Uh-uh. Hmm. Can't even tell them to stay. That's all for now. Yeah? Alright, whatever. I guess no explosives. How are you gonna go kill feral ghouls and you're not allowed to use explosives? Pretty much makes this whole thing ridiculous, but whatever. What 
No, get out of my way. Maybe I should have just went on without them. It's gonna be harder and I won't know what the heck they're actually, if they're any good or useful or what they do, but I can already tell they're gonna cause me so much frustration. That noodle cup now. It's hunger and hydration. So we gotta choose left or right. You know what? I think this is what's making me the most mad is for all this cool stuff they have, they're just using a meat hook and whatever the other melee weapon is. Dang. Probably never come back for these particular ones, but whatever. It's better to have the option to if I might want to. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna check. I'm not sure which gas mask it is. One of I think it was Andrew. Someone commented that I passed over. Oh, it must be the buffalo helmet. Oh wait, no, because that takes it off. Yeah, somebody had told me I passed over one of the best gas masks in the game that you can wear a helmet with, but I'm not sure what it is. They didn't actually tell me which gas mask. Which makes it a sort of useful comment, but only half useful. Because I can't really learn from it. I just have to know I did wrong. Do I have... I don't have this map to anything. This thing. Destroyed hunting rifle. How does this do? Um, I mean, this might work. I might be able to get a headshot with it. Nope. Oh crap, I didn't see that one right there. Alright, and now whatever goes with these folks, I'm gonna let it happen because I sort of know the rules. They're idiots, you probably don't want to use explosives. They'll run right into anything you throw. I mean, I got it. You know, treat them like they're a child that you're not trying to kill. What? Leave me alone. That's all for now. I do want that dinner fork, that's light steel, we're going to be doing settlements soon. I don't actually, I've only been down here the one time, so I don't remember it all too well. I bet you we can break that guy free. Oh, sick. From radiation or what? Are you good, dude? Yes, we can. It's gonna suck because it's frost. Hacking already sucks. They made it really unfun in this. Alright, now as long as it doesn't try to kill us. Cool. I don't know how actually useful he'll be, but we'll see. Oh, that's a big ugly one. Hold on, people, hold on. Nope, 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 nope. Alright. Still in one piece. They're really not too bad as long as they don't blow themselves up. I mean even though they're not using their good weapons, they're doing all right. I think they're okay. You just have to know how to play with them. 
basically don't use any explosives or anything that gives them an opportunity to kill themselves because they'll jump right at it. Um, we were carrying a new cola already, so I guess we'll carry one again. Ooh, go get that one. Protectron, go get him. Do not attempt to flee. Justice will be administered. Good bot. And barely. Oh, wow, I don't even think we have to go any farther anyway. Dang, that is dope. But it's automatic. Which can have its uses, but not really here in the early game. But we'll grab that. Wait, I already grabbed the laser rifle, huh? Oh, well, I can maybe take pieces off. I don't. I just don't really think I'm gonna need that hunting rifle so much. Nice little bottles here. I love how in Frost you genuinely do get excited for empty bottles, but hey. Is that gonna blow up? Nice little haul out of here, for sure. Okay, and then this is the journal. I think this is all we need right there, are those guys. Okay, nothing too amazing. I am right at weight limit, so that's good. Um, let's go read these journals real quick. There's a journal scrap. Too many, making way south. Pat place, have to warn Federation. Huh, well I actually don't know where Patriot Station is because I've never been there, but I guess it's south from here. So that's good to know. Um, Vita Abraro's journal. The snow's melting, good news for once, but the nuclear spring brings new worries. We've been seeing things on the surface, dead things. Double watches until we figure this out. We captured one. I wasn't exaggerating it. It looks dead. Skin's peeled off, shambles around like a zombie from some horror flick. Nate took an arm off and it didn't even flinch. Anne wants to try communicating, but that thing is long gone. The shamblers came again, too many to fight off. Had to leave the station. Anne caught her foot on some rebar. Didn't let Nate see them take her. Nate blames himself for her death, but the past is the past. We cannot change what has happened, only stop it from happening again. We need to make our way to Patriot's place. Warn them. Alright, and so we don't have to adventure any further in here. I don't think. That should be all we need is proof that they're dead. That's what we were looking for. So I don't think we're going to actually push our luck. I think we are going to get out of here. That went a lot better than I thought. That could have been a lot worse. I did do the few reloads, but... These idiots. I won't, I won't do that anymore, but I did sort of want to figure out the rules of them and how they work. Because I will need that for permadeath. Huh, that would have been cool to have a minute ago, but I guess it didn't make a huge difference. Oh, I'm barely, barely over. Boy. I know we got something. Drop that oven mitt. Alright, cool, so... I guess now we'll just head back to the station, turn that in, see what kind of spoils we get, and try not to die on the way back. Hey, can I take that backpack? No. That weighs two. I know I can drop something for two pounds. Where's my junk, dude? Maybe not. I thought I had a bunch more junk. It's all really light and like stuff that otherwise it's really good. Or like this, which I can sell. Uh, you can keep your backpack. Okay, well, glad to know how they work. 
glad we also made it out of there alive, all things told. Maybe. Yeah, we're already close enough. Maybe we should wrap back Overland and then take Park Station. I got these guys with me, so... Dang, that sells for a lot of money. Certainly it's not the Jaguar mask you can wear with a helmet. I'm gonna try, but that would be ridiculous. It is my favorite mask though, so that would be cool if you could. Nope. I really want this to sell, cause holy crap, dude. We have to clear up three pounds. Well, this vodka is one pound. I'm not super attached to it. Cigarette carton is one pound. That's got a 50 to one value to weight. This has 80. Okay, so that's actually a good swap out. Dang, this last pound is hard. I don't want to get rid of the Giddy Up Buttercup leg because that's got good usable materials, springs and gears. Could get rid of the hairbrush and the screwdriver, but that's good wood. Or oh, wait, a hairbrush is just plastic. Okay, and then we'll drop the paintbrush, I guess. That'll work. Oh, no, it won't. I'm still carrying too much. How? Oh, it's five pounds. Okay, well, this whole thing has been extremely embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, I should find a better one at some point anyway, so... Alright, that'll work. Although, now that I think about it, I suppose we're not going to stop at Overland because of weight. So, we're going to head right back to Valenti or Park. One of them. I don't know if I saved. Half the reason I save so much is I always forget if I just saved or not. And then I do one while I'm thinking about it because I'm somewhere that I want to save. Like, after doing all that sorting. What is that dude doing all the way up there chilling? Whatever. At this point, they can die. I understand how they work. I get their rules. I know that they're stupid and they'll just get blown up by anything you throw. Although they were smart enough to avoid the frag mine. So that was good to know. Because I may need to know that for later. I got rid of it, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Machete. That's all it took and he backed out of the fight, dude. Oh, sorry, lady. I actually didn't want to. Crap. I killed her. No, I like that lady though. I want her hanging around the station. Hey, you didn't see nothing, dude. 
And if you saw something, now you didn't. Because I'll take you out, boy. You hear me? You didn't see nothing. That's right. Let's go. Dang, man. I feel genuinely bad for killing an NPC. Am I just a really good person or what's up with that? Because now I know I'm going to go back to the station. And old girl ain't going to be there. That dude is so stupid. He could die anyway. I don't care, man. I think he's my least favorite. I only, I only like the chick. This dude just seemed extra dumb the whole time. If that's even possible. Let's go, Spider-Man. Crawling around. Wow. I don't remember what this is in Frost. Okay, so there's still goons. But is there a dude in power armor still? That's what I would want to know. I feel like there's probably not a dude in power armor in the Frost version of this. I mean, we could try and take it, boyo. I got you with me. Someone there? Yep. But don't worry about it. That would be my advice. Don't worry about it. See, you worried about it, and now look what happened. Stupid. You be worrying about stuff, and then you start dying. Is that really it? That's all there was? Some babies. Oh, wait. He had Federation. Oh, he's just a survivor. Alright, well, cool. I've never seen this before in Frost. Never been down here. Get the whoa, fuck whoa, 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 whoa. Get Dang. She was so slick with it. She was so slick with it. That, that was honestly impressive. I don't know if that was Pan PC at its finest or what, but she was hiding. She's... Oh, man. That was good. That was genuinely a cool way to die. If I had to die, that was pretty nice. Although I do now feel that itch in the back of my mind. Like, yeah, we gotta take them now because they just killed me. Originally, I was just doing it for fun to go see what's down there real quick, but then they make it personal every time. sneaking past we might sneak we might sneak up I got the hiccups we might sneak up but we ain't sneaking past give this another shot baby yeah come get it come get it we selling knuckle sandwiches out here dang is that just popped clean off What's that? You want some too? You want some too? Oh, clean. I'm starting to get sort of used okay, to this. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Where? You sound like you're right next to me, lady. Nothing there now. Don't think I won't hurt you. Who? How many are there? Whoa, dude. Leave my boy alone. Can't be attacking my boy like that. I don't care if he started it. Aw, oh, he's gonna go out there and get himself killed. Huh, cool. If you get yourself killed out there, Marvin. Yup, Marvin's dead. Can't believe I didn't think to turn that off. Might have to mute a little bit of game audio. Hey man, you kill Marvin, bro. I don't even want to hear about it. Oh, he's in power armor for real. Just run. There's no way he's still in power armor, bro. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you at? Oh, this Stupid. is someone else. Oh. Alright, you know what? I, uh... I might have actually changed my mind. We might be letting these boys go. We might be letting these boys go. Because I didn't realize there was all that smoke down there. I thought it was the two dudes. That's another good thing to note. And why I'm doing this type of a run before permadeath type stuff. You know? Um. Yeah, we'll just politely get over the bridge. That sounds like a really good plan. There was definitely a dude in power armor. I didn't see him. But were you guys hearing that? I could hear his voice like being modulated. Alright, so now in this alternate alternate timeline, Marvin is still alive. So we got Marvin back with us. Say what's up, Marvin. That's what's up. Now we just gonna sneaky sneaky past and book it. Alright, we do still gotta be a little careful. We're not in the clear yet. Hangman's is up here though. I haven't been to Hangman's in a minute. Let's see. I know I had some stuff stashed here and stuff, like armor and stuff. Maybe I got something I want. I doubt it, but it's worth checking while we're already over this way. Oh, I could do water too, huh? I could, but I'm full up, goofy. Can't do it. Come on. Alright, what do we got in here? Dang, that thing is heavy. That's probably like exactly what we want for ghoul popping and stuff. So good to know that's here. We can't even take it, but. All right. We got at least that pipe sniper rifle here. So that's good to know because I think it was Andrew. It was somebody in the comments said that that's what they use and recommend for ghouls was like a pipe sniper rifle. And that makes a lot of sense to me. So we got one. Maybe grab that. But I got some goodies I gotta get dropped off first. Aww. My boy's gonna get lost, I think, if I go this way, but... Yeah, he's already lost. Alright, Marvin. I'm up. I'm going to catch you back at the station. Wink, wink. Probably not. Don't die. I hear some rad stags or something. <sighs> Starting to get foggy. Oh, you know what? I think a snowstorm's rolling in. Oh, a rad storm's rolling in. I was half right. How's it gonna be a rad storm and snowing? I like that. That would be cool, but I don't think it's gonna stay snowing. Alright, Marvin. We gotta get bussin', boy. Gotta get back, get back. Also, the reason uh, for the saves, especially during rad storms, is they really love to crash my game when they get intense. Normally, you'll see my frame rate dropping first, so. But that's already happening. Oh, we made it, Marvin. Well, not yet, but we're close. We've almost made it. Right before the rad storm starts. Where are you at, Marv? Oh, there you are. What's up, buddy? Alright, we're gonna go.
Cool, we even still got Marvin with us at least. I wish he's the one who died. I want that chick to still be alive. That's crazy. I killed her in cold blood. We're almost downtown, but look, Marvin's still with me. I'm just so happy I had to show you guys. Marvin, Marvin. One or two ain't so bad, but dealing with the past. All right, let's go turn this mission in. I want to see Marvin still alive, at least. I brought one of your boys back, you know? One out of two ain't so bad. Good to see you're still alive, soldier. Reporting for duty. Speak. Wasn't easy, but I found some. Yeah, let's see them. Yep, that's it. This sacrifice won't go in vain. Turns out... Our initial beliefs are correct. All mutants must die. We are not taking any prisoners. This is turning into the Brotherhood of Steel real quick. Wise words. Here's your reward. You deserve some rest. Come back to me when you're ready for more, officer. Woo! All right, cool. A medium MRE too. Why do you you giving me more officer fatigues, bro? Oh, that's because I got a promotion. Oh, look at that. But now I'm way heavy, so I gotta go sell stuff. That would have been the end of the episode, but he overweighted me. He way overweighted me. Yeah. I'm just gonna sell the crap he gave me for now, yes. so I'm not overweight. Because when I do a real sell, I probably will throw on all of the uh, all the charisma gear. Where is the buyer? What the one time I actually need him, he's not here. Oh, he's hiding. Hey there. You want to do some trade? Let's see what you have. Uh. need those there's no way a medium MRE is seven pounds oh my god it is five pounds I don't want to sell anything of high value right now man this dude has got me screwed up We'll do that at least. Come out here. I'm four pounds over. We'll drop this and we'll carry it with to where we need it. Oh dang, of course, I can't go through doors like that, so. You see what this you see what this game does? This absolute I'm misery we sometimes. We can help turn this place around. But at least there's a system for this. Imagine if you couldn't carry crap. That would really suck. Boom. Now if I can just drop it off. I don't have to worry about being overweight. Cool. Alright. That'll probably wrap this one up. I gotta check the runtime. Hey, isn't the let go thing supposed to be on the wall there? Or am I tweaking? Yeah, so that's 40 minutes about. A little bit less after editing, but we'll wrap it up here. Um, managed to come back from College Station. We did lose our lady. I accidentally killed her in cold blood. Um... Marvin made it back, only because of some lucky circumstances, but Marvin should have been dead too. Uh, and yeah, they're pretty useless around explosives, so you have to be really careful of that. But they're overall useful and helpful, as long as you don't try to explode them and you just act like they're idiots and they'll die if you do anything. Um, 
yeah and then we got that mre which we'll open that and check that out at the beginning of the next episode because i have to sort and do all kinds of stuff yet anyway oh uh, we got bottles so we got to do a water run and get some water going and yeah so that'll wrap it up for this episode this has been episode 20 of the access tunnel start uh thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one